Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hello. Hi, Lana. Oh, nice to see you. Good morning. Marcus, I haven't met you yet. Welcome. Very nice to see you here. Welcome, everybody. You're welcome to open up your camera, say hello. I'm just going to go live on Facebook. Going to start. Hello, Nicole. We are ready to go. Okay, just one second. I'm just gonna do the live on Facebook. Click. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Neurosynthesis Introduction Session. Today, I will be telling you about the Neuros Neurosynthesis course, as well as we're going to draw a little bit. We're going to draw one of the algorithms, one of the drawings from the course itself. And some of you I said hello to personally. Some of you I didn't get to say hello. Welcome. Welcome to share how you're doing today. Where are you from? How you heard about Neurographica? Are you new to Neurographica? This will be very important so I know how fast or slow I should go. Is this your very first time drawing Neurographica? Or are you familiar with some elements? Or maybe you even took the basics course or even the specialist course. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. You can write in the chat or you can at this point open up your microphones and just say hello. You know where you're from and just in general um we're gonna wait a few more minutes so people will come more people i think are coming if not they can always view in recording milagros welcome thank you so much for having me lana um i'm hailing from san antonio texas and i've been trying to get a glimpse of this course for like a month today's my day off and i almost missed it but it popped up on my screen. So I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and oh, I was introduced to the course by my cousin, Margaret, who already took the course. And I did, um, she took the basics and I invited her to this session. So she's also online. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so <laughs> glad to hear. This is an amazing, amazing course. Like there are different courses. And this one is, um, you will see from the description. It really is about synthesis. It's about, you know, the combination of a human being as it is. So welcome to you, Milagros, and welcome to Margaret. I don't see Margaret. You. I'm going to put everybody in a gallery view for now, if everybody's OK with that. There is Margaret. Hello, Margaret. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. How are you? Good. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you guys made it here. I'm excited. I'm excited to take the course. Yes, it's it's very exciting. It's it's a, I, it's a one of my favorites, I know, and it's it's really fun, and it's, you know, some courses are like basics. They're very important. They're quite heavy because you have to learn the graphics and you have to understand. This course is more, you know, it's very light and it's so interesting because it has to do with the way human beings are now, you know, with the way we're looking for knowledge. We're looking for unification. We're looking to join and you learn something new. Okay, let me read who is everybody. Hello, everybody from the chat. Emma, welcome. You've done the basics course and you can't take the your composition. Oh, nice meeting you, Emma. Beautiful, beautiful. Cleo, I'm from Belgium and I did take the basics course. Welcome. I'm glad to hear. Shelly, I'm on a break from school, so no microphone right now. But yes, yes, I understand. But a glad can be here. So nice to see you, Shelly. Alina, hi, how are you? Nice seeing you. Julie's from California. Oh, beautiful. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. I'm so glad. Um, greetings from San Antonio. That's you, Milagros. Yes, forgot to mention I'm in North Carolina. Shelly, you're from North Excellent. So we have really here from all over the world, right? Not just US. We have Belgium. We have Vancouver, Canada. Beautiful. New York. New York. Woohoo. I just moved from New York. I moved to Florida, but yeah. I am yeah. still a New Yorker in heart. You can never stop being a New Yorker. Once a New Yorker, you're always a New Yorker. Absolutely. Yeah, beautiful. So nice having you all of you here, ladies. We're now just ladies, right? I think I see a few gentlemen within the whole, you know, neurographical world, but um, at this point, it's mostly ladies, and that's okay, because we know the creator is a man, so we're good. We have some male energy going here. We have both of them. We're good. Um, another question I have, an exciting question. How many of you were at the conference? Because I get a lot of questions. Germany, it showed you from Germany. Yeah, yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, Frauke, welcome, so nice to see you. I'm glad to see you. How many of you were at the conference? I get a lot of questions. I'm gonna say it openly now because I know I get a lot of questions about the sessions. They're still being edited. It takes a long time because the whole conference was really three days long. Well, two, like two and a half days long. We were right in the middle. And that was the, the genius of the conference, how, what, why it happened last minute, because there was a Russian speaking conference and then they had nighttime and then they had another day. And then they said, it's nighttime with us, but it's daytime somewhere else. And that's why they come up with an idea. And I you know, gladly took upon myself to just continue the conference in English. And it does take time, just bear with us. It will, all the sessions will be separately and you will see the screen. And I do wanna tell you now, we didn't put up the contest yet. We are waiting for the videos to come, but very soon there will be a contest. If you happen to draw all the pictures, you know, there'll be a few contests. You can follow them and they will be based on the conference sessions and you will be able to win some you know, some prizes. So that's, that's something I wanted to say while I'm live. Yeah, some speakers, yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Almost everybody's here. Neora, you made it, I'm so glad to see you. I am very glad to see you. Um, hi, Neora, how are you? Okay, nice to see you everybody. I wanna know if you are ready is everybody ready? Should we start? Are you good? We're good, I think. It's nine minutes past, so we're good to start. What I am going to do is I am going to transfer my video to the camera on my table. And the way today's session is going to be is like this. Half an hour, I'm going to tell you about the course. I want to tell you the major ideas of the course, what the course is based upon, why do we do the course the way it is, um, and then we're actually going to draw one very interesting aspect of the course that I think you all will find relevant. Okay, so get your papers ready, get your markers ready. Oh, Michelle, yeah, you're going to watch it in the recordings. Yes, like I mentioned, all the sessions will be there, ladies, I promise you. We'll be able to watch it. And then we're going to have another conference, and that's how it usually works, right? We have one conference after another. One second, how many of you go through the markers as fast as I do? I think I go through one marker every few days. The ladies have the same thing? Both of you who are serious drawers, do you notice that your markers really go fast? Okay, transferring my camera. Let's get ready. Second, okay, let's do this. Transferring to this background, okay. my camera. Seems a bit loose. Nope. Um, 
the second ladies. Okay, let's see if this one works better. Sorry, ladies, one second. It's one of those things when the camera just wants to go late. One second, okay. So I'm gonna pay myself and we'll be good to go, okay? Excellent, excellent. Okay, hello to everybody on Facebook. Hi, Angelica, nice seeing you here. Beautiful. Um, wait. This is good. Can everybody see my camera? Can everybody see my paper, my markers? Is everybody yeah. good? Yeah. We're good, right? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to discuss today is the idea that, um, one second. Hi, Ellen. Nice seeing you. Okay. Give me a second. I'm just going to open my. Um, the whole idea of the course is called neurosynthesis. What is this synthesis all about? The course basically focuses on four important aspects of any human being, right? Of any human development, of any human world. And we are focusing on those developments um, from different aspects. Originally, this course was called, it was, of course, created by Pavel Piskaryov, the creator of Neurographica. All of the algorithms are actually created by him. Um, there are a few current courses that he creates with some other people, but all of Pavel's creations are always, you know, rooted within him. You know, he has an idea and then he either creates it on his own or he gets somebody else like a partner who he uh, partners with and they create together. Um, this course originally was called the Metamodern Person, Metamodern Man, but we call it, of course, Metamodern Person because, of course, we understand it's applicable to all type of people. And um, I realized I did not introduce myself. Please forgive me. My name is Lana Shalom. I am a certified instructor in Neurographica from 2018. I have been practicing Neurographica since 2017. And uh, my major, um, what would you say that mission? Would that be a mission I would say? My major mission within Neurographic world is to bring the awareness, bring the teachings of Neurographica, bring actually very soon, I'm gonna do more than just Neurographica, bring the teachings of Pavel Piskaryov to the English speaking audience. Um, which I think would love and appreciate all the knowledge and all the philosophy that is within the system. And most importantly, the way the system, the way all those teachings, specifically in this case, let's say Neurographica, contributes to the well being of a human being, you know, to the way a human being can work with themselves or work with others and, of course, help themselves. So let's go back to the course. The course was originally called Meta modern person. And there is a reason for that. We will go into this later, I promise you, but the world metamodern will make sense to you. I'm sorry, one second, my daughter's asking for Yeah. Okay, sorry. And um, later on the course, about like two years ago, like last year, I think, Pavel decided to change it to something more he felt as was need, as was fitting the name neurosynthesis, okay? The course is really about a synthesis of four different aspects of a human being, okay? What are those aspects? Many of you will recognize it as this has been discussed in various integrative practices, you know, in many um, various therapeutic practices as well. The, the human being consists of four worlds, right? We know this, right? One, two three and four, right? The first world is a physical world, right? The second world is the emotional world, right? Some people would call it psychological world, right? The third world is a mental world, right? Reasoning and logical world, right? Reasoning. And the fourth world is a spiritual world, the prototype of a soul, okay? 
and we learn this, all of this aspect within this course, we learn it in different aspects. We learn it as circles, okay? We will learn it, and I will show it to you today specifically. We will learn it through the squares, right? We all know that neurographica, um, it consists of four major, um, four major uh a language, well, uh, four major letters or alphabet. Basically, the neurographic alphabet consists of four symbols, four elements, right? The three elements are shapes. We know there's a circle, a triangle, and the square. And of course, the fourth element is a neural line, the one that combines everything and makes everything alive, okay? So all of these elements are utilized within this course. We're gonna have four circles. We will have four squares. We learn all of the aspects through different, uh, all of these worlds through different aspects, through different views. And of course, we'll learn how we can fit all of the four worlds within the triangle, which is a symbol of growth as we know, right? And that will be the major idea within the, course, we will discuss in details how each aspect fits in, how each aspect goes within each, uh, how each world goes within each symbol, each element, why does it uh, refer to the circle, when do we go through the triangle, and when do we go through the square, through the quadrant, okay? So what I would like to focus with you today specifically, as we're getting ready to draw, I would like to give you a bit of information, a bit of introduction to um, it's a different uh, original idea of Pavel Piskaryov that he successfully integrated and in that was actually his dissertation uh, thesis for his PhD. And that's called, you probably heard of it already. I don't know if you did. Some of people asked me, some of my students actually asked me. So I figured, let me bring it out. Let me talk about it because people are interested and it does relate to neurographic, of course. These are called the quadrants, okay? The quadrants are really, the squares, the four stages of development, okay? We go through different stages. Um, there are different, like I said, practices. If some of you, one of you mentioned you took the new, taking the neurocomposition, right? We just finished the neurocomposition in my, uh, I just finished the neurocomposition, not the neurocomposition, neuro color with my students, right? And there is also neurocomposition. So it, within neurocolor, for example, we focus on five elements. So there are five stages of development. And we know that there are different stages within different practices, right? Like what I do in the neurosphere road course that I'm also leading now, we focus on taste and 10 stages and seven stages, right? Within the chakras, right? The energy centers, there are seven stages. Pavel came up with four specific stages. And this is what he talked about. He talks about everything in a human life being able to be divided within four stages and they're quite sequential. I wanna right away, because I know people ask me when I started just teaching this, a lot of people ask me, what is this based on? Did he like just really create it out of nothing? Oops, sorry. I just wanna make this darker. Give me one second, ladies. Okay. And I mentioned that this really is based upon the idea of growth matrix. The growth matrix, if any of you are familiar with that, are the matrix of the human development, right? Growth was actually quite revolutionary in his findings. I think, he, I believe he did it in the 80s, if I don't mistake, maybe the 70s or the 80s. And before him, um, I'm a psychology major and I'm an early childhood and a special ed education background. So I know this very well, but before him, all the child developments or the psychologists would always talk about a human being being developed from the time of birth, right? The baby is born. And then we talk about how the baby develops, start walking, learning to walk, crawling, walking, talking, you know, then adolescent, teenager, and so on. Uh, Stanislav Grof, uh, I believe he's a, a Yugoslavian uh, psychologist. He came up and he said, guess what? The human being development starts way before birth. The human being development starts from the time the soul, and we always have four stages. We always go like this. This is always number one. We go this way, okay? Because I know a lot of people are used to counting one, two, three, four. Within the, the metamodern quadrants, we always go one, two, three, four. So what Grof said was, 
the very first stage of a human development is when the soul enters the body, enters the, in this case, the mother's uterus, right? That's it. This is how the human being starts the journey into life. The second development is the prenatal development. Nine months, nine months of development within the uterus, okay? The third development is the labor, the birth. It's a, a actual passing through the birth canal, right? Passing. There is actually, just want to let you know right now, there is huge deep meaning within each one of the categories. I, by the way, have, um, right, right, Newer, Erickson stages of psychosocial development. Absolutely, that's what I learned also, yeah. And I have an open video on my YouTube can channel. You're welcome to go see. I believe from two years ago, I have two sessions on growth mattresses where we actually discuss and we actually go through each stage and I tell in details what each stage is about. Just giving you, um, giving you an idea if you want to learn this in details, okay? And the fourth stage is when a human being is actually born and comes into the open world. And that's what we call as life development, right? Originally, Grof said that this was a nine months of development after birth, but later on, psychologists, and I believe Grof also adapted it to being the rest of human being life, you know? This is how we are all here right now. Just want to congratulate you. You went through all the three stages and you're here. So always pat yourself on the back. You made it. So based on that, which is the official, you know, originally when I started Neurographica, that was the official um, theory of the Institute for Psychology of Creativity, Pavel's Institute. What he did now is he adapted it further, and I'm going to tell you about this, okay? This is called the quadrants. Analysis. Everything? Okay. This is called the quadrants. One second. Let me make sure. Okay, excellent. Oh, thank you, Ahmed. Oh, Ahmed, you're here. It's so nice to see you. Hello, big, big hello to you. I haven't seen you for a long time. Okay, so um, pre-modern, okay. As we go according to the quadrants, I'm gonna tell you the details. Yeah, we have 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try to tell you as much as I could so we can start drawing, okay? So of course, as I said before, this is always stage number one. This is stage number two, three, and four. Just remember this. That in quadrants, in the metamodern um, theory. And by the way, this is in lieu of you waiting for the metamodern book in English. Pavel just published it. It's absolutely amazing. It's actually going in depth about what I'm going to tell you today, what I started telling you, what I'm going to tell you more. And um, just to answer more questions about the book. Yes, the book of Neurographic is translated. We're trying to figure out ways to bring it to the public, okay? Just wanna let you know that part. Okay, so the first stage is called pre-modern. Okay, pre-modern, okay? And it refers, if you remember, one second, it refers to the very first circle, to the very bottom, the physical world, which in our, in a human term, we would call the body, okay? So this is, if we talk historically, if we talk anthropologically, this is from the creation of the world. You can go according to different variations on that. You know, you can go and go to according to the scientists and the historians who say millions and millions of years. You can go to the religious point of view, which is, you know, from the Bible and saying when God created the world and what God created the human being. Okay. This is the very beginning. Okay. That's important to notice. Beginning. Okay. This is the beginning of it all. This is the beginning of it all, okay? This is the stage, and this is, I would say, this will be up to 15th to 16th century, which is when our next uh, stage will start. Let's talk more about this. What is this more about? This is more about the stage of worshiping, okay? This is the stage where a human being is facing the fact that there's a human being, 
and there is higher power, okay? There's a human being and there is the something that people refer to as God. Some people would refer to it as gods in plural, right? Back then we know that, you know, people were more pagan. They believed in many gods. This was the stage where people believed in nature. This is the stage of worshiping. People worship nature, people worship God, right? People worship many gods, but it's the idea of worshiping, okay? If we go, yeah, but and also the idea that the human being is connected, human is connected to another, to a higher being, but it is not done consciously. This is important to know, it's not done consciously. The human being is aware that there's a higher power, but the human being is not conscious about it. So that's important to know. If we talk about the human development in general, you will notice that this is the childhood, okay? This is the childhood and the human development, okay? And also this is the time when there is the direct correlation. You do something wrong, you get punished, okay? Straightforward, plain, simple. That's it, wrong punishment. A very simple idea of how the world runs, okay? And if we look at this from, remember we talked about the different, um, the way it looks, it would look um, neurographically. This is the world. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, and this is the, if we were to, to show this in a picture, it would be a nice big circle and there's nobody around. This is focusing on me, myself, and I. The human being is the center of the everything. There's nobody else, there is some higher power, but that's about it. Then we get to the second stage. The second stage that we mentioned start from 15th and 16th century. And as many of you can guess, you know what stage this is. In the um, historian sense, this is a renaissance, and I have to see how I spell it correctly. The Renaissance period, right? This is a period where logic and reasoning is highly developed, right? Everything is about logic. Everything is about reasoning, okay? okay? Everything is about, and it's interesting to know that this, if we are talk this as being the body, then this part refers to emotions, right? And you can ask me if it's emotions, right? Which is the next emotional development. This is emotion, you can ask me, how is it about logic and reasoning? Because if we talk about the emotional need for a human being to start separating him or herself from the higher power, then that's emotional need. That's not a logical need for separation. That's an emotional, right? If we talk about the human development, we all know this would be teenagers, right? The emotional need, they will give you a lot of logic, but it will be in a purely emotional sense, okay? So what is this world all about? This world is about social realm. This world is about Figuring out who are you in the society? What am I? Who am I? How do others view me? Right? Everybody know what I'm talking about? If I say one word, teenagers, right? How does everybody view me? What am I doing? How am I, you know, everything is about how is one person is viewed from the social point of view. And if we are to draw this in a picture view, it would be a person. That's a person. But all around, we have many different Poolings, right? Many different ideas that the human being can be attracted. I want to do this. No, I want to do that. But the society is telling me to do this. My parents are telling me to do that. The teachers are telling me to do this. My friends are telling me to try this. And, you know, maybe my girlfriend or my boyfriend is telling me, let's do this, right? The person, the human being is pulled in different direction. There is no synthesis, just to go back to the name of the course. Okay. And at this point, we already understand life is not as simple as wrong. When you do something wrong, then you get punished. That's not what it's all about. There is reasoning. You start understanding that there is more than that. Life is a, is a bit, let's call it this way, it's a bit more complicated, right? And yeah, there is still God within this, this stage, right? There is God present. We're not denying God, but we understand that God can be understood through different terms, right? Now, in the beginning, the first scientists would talk about science, 
being a way to see God, right? Later on, the science started saying, you know, do we know if there is God? Well, that's the next stage. At this point, God is still here, but there is, it's done through reasoning and science, right? And of course, this is gross, okay? If we remember, as I showed you the gross mattresses, do you remember what this is? If the first one was the beginning, this is the prenatal. This is the nine months of growing, just staying within the uterus. You're not doing much. The baby, the, the uterus, um, the embryo is not doing much. It's just developing. It's just taking in what the mother is giving. Okay. Next, we have the third one. Okay. I also want to give you some other aspects. So this, in terms of the, of the seasons, this is the winter. Okay. The beginning. This is spring. Okay. This is summer. We're going to go there next. And this, of course, will be fall. Okay. We're going to the third stage. What is this third stage? This is called postmodern. Oh, I forgot to call it. This is called modern. Okay. Remember, this was pre modern. This is modern. This is called postmodern, right? Postmodern, going beyond modern. This is the part where any human being, this was body, this is logic, this is the, I mean, this is the emotion, this is mental world. And over here, we realize that any human being, any person is an individual, okay? People start viewing themselves as individuals. And we know this is when the time, even historically speaking, this is the time, you know, when all of the science, scientific discoveries were happening, right? And the world started separating, you know, the countries were separated on its own. Each country would consider themselves to be, you know, more important or each country would start saying, oh, I can conquer other countries, right? But it was done a bit more than let's say when, when it would be done in a Roman world, right? We know that it's a different way. And on a personal level, the humans start feeling that it's an individual, that the emotions and thoughts are valued, okay? The human life started having value, okay? This is a time when we started developing something we call now psychology, right? This is a time later on, at, toward the end of this stage over here, going here, we have developing something that taking over psychology now, right? Coaching, right? The idea that the human life, the human idea, the human thought is very valued. Each individual is important. We're not viewing people as a nation, we kind of are, right, on a political system, but people are really um, fighting that. We don't want to be viewed as a general idea of human being. We want to be viewed as an individual. I am Lana, right? You are uh, somebody else. You say your own name. Your name makes a value. All ideas are valid, valid here, right? And all ideas, right, we know, like I mentioned, this is a time for science development, thought development, and this is personal growth and personal gratification, okay? This is the time also that's important to note. This is looking for happiness. That's important to know, okay? If over here, happiness is, hmm, there is a happiness, and over here is like, oh, I want happiness. This is looking, for, actively looking for happiness, okay? Actively looking for happiness. And this is also the time to note when we had two major wars, the wars that really captured the lives of most amount of people who died within the humankind, right? When the historians and the, you know, anthropologists look at it, they say this is really, that's why it's called the World War II and World War I, right? And it's like, if we remember, when I mentioned the war, that's significant because talking about gross mattresses, this is a time when the human being goes through labor, through birth, and we know that's association with blood, right? There is blood. There is something happening within the body level, okay? And I would also categorize this in the name of one famous book, right? Viktor Frankl, which called his name, his book, Person in Search of Meaning. People started understanding we need to have the meaning of life. And now we come to the, this world, the stage we're on, it, uh, we're at now, if we talk about um, uh, historically and anthropologically, this stage is called the meta 
modern. And that's why the name of our course originally was Meta Modern, because we are here and we're trying to figure out what are we? So what's happening within this stage? Within this stage, there is a new, that's important to know, a new human being, okay? New human being. And human being is an individual, as we already discussed, this is what's happening here. Now the human being says, I am who I want to be. Okay, there is no boundaries, right? And we know that this is the characterization of this, um, of the society as we know now in general, right? There's no boundaries, whether it comes to the ideas, the thoughts, the emotions, right? All thoughts are validated, all emotions are validated. No boundaries when it comes to body, right? We know that we witness it, right? People can change the way they look on the physical level, right? Human being decides who they want to be. There's a new human being, okay? And if we, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the picture, right? Right. Remember, this was a human being and they were pulled in different direction. And now as psychology, we discovered that we actually have different ideas within ourselves and we get contradicted. Am I this? Am I that? Am I this part of me or am I that part of me, okay? What happens here, if we put it in a picture, the human being started realizing that, and it's interesting to know, that's why I said sequential, at this stage, if it's other stages, this stage says, I don't know if there's a God, you know, I'm gonna think about it. This stage will say, there is no God and no logic is not everything. Emotions is more important, right? We have psychology. This stage says, everything is valid. All of the stages are important to come to this point, okay? This was childhood. Remember we said this was teenager. This is the time when people start working, right? Finishing college and starting working. And this is the stage we call wisdom. Look at me. I specifically don't call it elderly because it's not about age. It's not about being elderly. We know nowadays elderly can go through the same thing again. They can become childhood. I personally had students and I personally had colleagues 70, 80 years old and they take neurographic and they become instructors and they start the new careers and new life. So this is more about stages of wisdom, okay? And at this stage, we realize that a human being has everything. And this is the stage when we look inside and we start looking for happiness within us. We say all parts of me is what makes me happy, right? And we connected, I specifically connected with a neural line to show that there is a unification synthesis within. And then you say, I am happy from within. And then I am happy on the outside, okay? And all of these parts of me, which were pulling me in different directions before, now make sense to me. They unified, okay? They unified. They're connected to myself, me, myself, and I, but there is wisdom. There is understanding here that all of the stages were necessary in order to form who I am. And also, this is the synthesis of all of the worlds within a human being, okay? It's acceptance of all the levels below. It's not rejection. It's not saying this is instead of that. No, it's together. It's a combination and this is the whole lifetime we know, according to the um, to the growth matrices, okay? And also this level, I wanna say all contradictions, right? Like I mentioned, we being pulled in different directions, all contradictions are united. We're not different directions. They all are part of who I am, okay? A human, a beautiful human being. Okay, we're gonna start drawing in two minutes. I'm gonna add one more aspect here if you wanna write it for yourself. Um, second, my mouse gets getting okay. Um, this is the homo, if we call about it, you know, in a scientific term, homo naturalis, naturalis, right? This is the body, the human being as it is, right? This is homo, this is the most famous round, right? Homo sapiens, right? Which means reasoning person, right? Reasoning person, right? The person of logic. This is Homo Confucius, 
this is a confused person, right? The person is confused. It's like, what's going on? What am I? Well, who am I? What am I doing in this world? They start looking for search for meaning, right? And this is homo beatus. Happy. Remember that word? We mentioned happiness. This is a happy person, okay? So this course is really what we will be focusing is about figuring out each stage of who we are and uniting them, going from different aspects, like I mentioned, utilizing all different elements of neurographica to figure out who you are, where you're going, and finding your happiness, both within and without, okay? Any questions at this point? Well, we can go next drawing. You let me know. Any questions? You're welcome to unmute yourself and ask me a question. Let me see if there's any questions on the Facebook. Uh, hi, Dania. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, no questions. Give me a second, ladies. I realize I have no paper. My paper has finished. One second, I'll be right with you. I am back. Paper, paper, paper. There you go. Okay, I have the paper. So let's do this, okay? Thank you, Milagros. I, I'm glad you ladies enjoyed it. That was the purpose. I gave you all of this, I promise you, it was all intentional, okay? Because what we're gonna do now is we're going to draw. What I would like to offer for you to draw is let's divide our paper into, oops, no, one of those things into four quadrants, four stages. And I wanna tell you the reason I decided we're drawing this is um, I have a lot of questions. A lot of people asking me questions, what's happening with the whole announcement of the instructor's course. And I'm actually, I don't know if many of you know, I just announced that I'm going, I have so many people asking for the specialist course. I'm actually going to do the specialist course like in an express version, which would still be the full version. I'm only doing it two days, Friday and Sunday. And it all fits in here. What I would like to show you is to draw a picture that's called, where am I in neurographica, okay? And we, of course, are going to do this in four stages, okay? And I will introduce you what we're doing. The very first stage is the, remember what it is? The beginning of it all, okay? The beginning. In neurographical language, this means that you just started in neurographic, you just saw somebody's picture, you just saw somebody's drawing, or you heard about it and you're like, oh, I wonder what it is. Or maybe you're at the end of the stage and you just took the basics course, okay? People ask me, how do I learn neurographic? And I tell them, you always start with, a, well, actually I tell them the opposite. I even tell them, you always start with a free video on YouTube, why? Because you want to be able to understand what is neurographica before you start. You know, you have to be able to be passionate about it. I don't tell everybody to right away take the basics for it. Find out that this is the right thing for you, okay? And at this stage, you have to figure out, are you at this stage or are you at the next stage, okay? What we're going to do here, this is the beginning. If you are at this stage, then you're going to draw the... Um, the resources that you will need to pass this stage. If you pass the stage already, if you already took your basics, then you just draw the resources you got from the stage. You know, what did you learn from the basics course? What did you enjoy? What did you have? You can bring it as elements, right? As shapes, right? You can bring it as a circle, right? At the basics course. I'm trying to remember my basics course, right? What was it? It was wonder, right? It was wonder. It was excitement right? It was, who are we kidding? It was confusion, right? I have a lot of students writing. I don't understand. What do you mean not to do this and not to do that? That's what it is, right? It's confusion. But you know, confusion is also a resource. Confusion brings you clarity, right? When you're confused, you seek clarity. So we can turn confusion into 
actual cross that over. Clarity, because we're looking for resources, okay? And what else? You can draw your circles, by the way, any size you want to. Let it have come, come to a natural. They can be small, they can be huge. Anything you want to, okay? I'm gonna bring in one more resource. I want it to be nice and big. I don't know what it is yet. I'll be honest with you. I'm very intuitive, okay? I do a lot of things intuitively. I feel the, the picture and, you know, you will learn to do this too. Um, and what is this? I guess this would be maybe completion. Do you notice how it goes toward the end? It kind of goes a bit over the second stage. I guess it's, it's a big deal, right? To complete the basic scores. Those of you who did, you know what I'm talking about. And those of you who just taking the basic scores and you didn't get to complete, you know what I'm talking about. It takes time, it takes efforts, it takes perseverance, right? You have to practice and practice and practice and you will get it. And then we go into the next stage. What is the next stage? The next stage is the specialist. What is a specialist? The specialist is a stage where we learn and my mouse got stuck. There we go. This is just waiting for Issa to come. Okay. And at this stage, it's not specialist. What is a specialist? If the basic course is focusing on oneself, right? The basic course, I also call it self-coaching where we completely guide you and explain to you how you can take all the algorithms, right? Four major algorithms, right? And take it to yourself and use it within yourself, helping yourself out. It's called algorithm for removing limitations. You have to remove the limitations, right? Before you go further, you have to remove the blocks and inhibitions that will help you grow. Specialist is a growth. If we remember the second stage, the growth, remember? It's a social realm also. It starts like talking about, it's bringing neurographica to the social realm. It's having the rights to teach neurographica, okay? You actually learn how to teach neurographica and you are given the means and the tools, right? You learn, and if over here we have four major uh, basic algorithms, right? Over here, we have six algorithms. And by the way, huge news, starting next week, actually this week, but uh, uh, we're gonna learn it this week, but we're gonna utilize it next week. We're gonna add one more algorithm. Pavel added another algorithm to the specialist course. It's also very exciting, very cool. Out of the six algorithm, we don't know yet about this one. I know it's added and you can definitely use it within your practice. But out of the six algorithm, you can use three of them to teach other people openly. You gather groups, you can do Zoom classes, anything you want to, right? And these are the exciting ones, the neuro tree. Okay, those of you who don't know what that is yet, go to my YouTube channel. I have, I think, four of them in open session. Neuro tree, neuro lotus, right? And neuro rain, okay? Rain is about growing something, you know, planting something and see it grow. Neuro tree is about the growth, how the human being grows. And the neuro lotus is about the flower, which starts from a tiny bit of seed and then develops and turns into a beautiful, beautiful um, nature, right? Something that human beings look at and say, wow, this is so beautiful, okay? And this is a specialist course. And you can figure out where you are. Where are you? Are you in the specialist course? Do you want to go there? One way or another, this is the next stage within the neurographic development, but it can be the next stage within your life development, right? Even if let's say you say, I'm not sure if I wanna go for the specialist, that's okay. Just take this, uh, this as a way to bring in the resources within your life. This is the social resources, sharing neurographic with others. And people are saying, wow, I love it. Thank you. The gratitude, you're like, oh, you know what? I just showed somebody neurographic. That became a part of this amazing method, right? You're showing somebody and you're teaching somebody or you're helping somebody within the professional practice. And that person says, oh, I didn't know I know how to draw. By the way, just thought of you. I am um, Rain. Yeah, you're a Rain. Neuro Raza. Huh? What is Neuro Raza? Neuro Rain? Is that what it means? Uh, 
Rain. Oh, okay. I said maybe it's some kind of language. Okay. Um, yeah. Neuro rain. Absolutely. That's what it is. And at this stage, you know, I, by the way, came from a, a non-drawing background. I'm not an artist by choice. M many of my students are, by the way, they come to Neurographica as an art, right? And, but I'm not an artist. And I have a lot of people saying, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know how to draw. And I tell them, it's not about drawing. If you know how to hold a pen and draw a line, you will know how to draw this. And it's moreover, right? So human beings, people start saying, hey, I am an artist. I can draw a beautiful picture, a beautiful um, abstract picture, right? That's what, that's what, you know, popular nowadays, abstract picture. And you become an artist, right? So you start introducing people. You start opening the world of Neurographica to others. You start letting them understand that this exists that this is beautiful, that you are enjoying it and you want others to enjoy it as well, okay? The enjoyment, okay? Bringing your resources. What are your resources? In this case, let's say you want to become a specialist, right? Let's say maybe in the near future or maybe in the far future. What would be the resources you're looking for? Are you looking for money? You bring in the resource of money, by the way, okay? You can say, by the way, this is money, right? This is an expensive course, but this is the way you can utilize anything you learned in your graphica. I have personally, I have a rule. I don't take any courses. Any courses I take, I always take it on the practical level where I am the instructor and I can take this course and teach it to others. If I cannot do that, I don't take that course. Everybody, like my colleagues and people I take courses from, they know my first question whenever they introduce a new course is, can I teach it to others? And they tell me right away, yes, I will give you the rights to teach or not ready yet to give you the rights to teach. And that's understandable. This part, you're ready to teach others. You spend money, but then you gain so much more. You make money, okay? You start selling it, you start teaching it to others, you get, you start doing this. The neuro tree alone is the most, this is the most popular algorithm altogether throughout the whole world, I wanna tell you, okay? And I give you the means and the tools, right? I personally developed a course of neuro trees where I give you 10 neuro trees, right? And that's something to keep in mind when I don't just give you the neuro tree, but I teach you to develop your own algorithm of the neuro tree. You have the right to teach any of this. You develop it and you go with it. And there's of course, four more algorithms, like I mentioned, which you will be able to teach within your professional setting. They're coaching. You can use it as a therapist. You can use it as an educator. You can use it as a you know, coach, psychologist, um, anything. You tell me your profession and we work with it, you know, by the way, if you are interested in joining, um, like I mentioned, I'm doing uh, this weekend and the next one is gonna be in May. You're welcome to contact me personally. I will give you a personal consultation. We will talk and I will tell you what's right and what's going on, you know, where, which way you can go. Who knows what the third stage is? Any ideas at this point? What is the next stage? The algorithms, right? We know we have nine algorithms algorithms of the instructor scores, right? This is what everybody's waiting for, instructor scores, right? We're all waiting for the news. I'm waiting for the news, right? We all wanna know more details. What's going on? When is it happening? How is it happening? It's going to happen in June. In April and May, they're gonna start the basic and the specialist. And in June, you don't have to wait for uh, June to start the specialist. That's why I'm offering it now for people to start practicing. What's the difference? Why, why do we need to wait? Remember, this is the stage for nine months of development. It's a lens stage. Why? Because you have to develop yourself. You don't want to jump into the instructor course. You have to become the specialist and start practicing with other people. Do you enjoy it? Do you, are you comfortable teaching it? Find your way. Do you enjoy the teaching the coaching methods or do you enjoy teaching the teaching methods? You know, find yourself. Who are you? What are you learning to be? What do you want to do with Neurographica in your life? And when you're ready, that's why it takes time. That's why I suggest do this as soon as possible. If you want to start using Neurographica in a professional sense, as soon as possible. You go into the instructor's course. And there are algorithms. We have nine algorithms altogether. Specialist is not one of them. Specialist is a separate course. The basics is one of them. And then we have eight more algorithms, okay? Neurocomposition. 
I just finished this course like about a few weeks ago and we have it actually on sale. We're going to make the announcement tonight. We're gonna to put it on sale for video viewing and recordings. Just finished this week, the neuro color course. And of course, also, if you wanna learn it by video recordings, you're welcome to take it. We have it at a very cheap price, right? And neuro color, what's next? After neuro color, we have neuro sketching, okay? Neuro sketching is what we're going to offer in April. It's a very exciting course. It's about if neuro composition learning about the shapes, right? The different shapes in Neurographica. Neuro color is learning how to use the color to bring in the right energy. Neuro sketching is about the neuro line. How do you draw the neuro line? Is there different ways of neuro line you can draw to bring in, again, different energies, okay? After the neuro sketching, we have neuro mandala, okay? Then we have neuro, am I missing something? One, two, three, four. Then I believe there is a summer break. And then we have neuro connection. Oh, neurosynthesis, right? Which is what we're offering right now. Neuro connection, right? We offered it again a month ago and we have it in recording if anybody's interested. This is the cheapest way possible. We're doing the recordings, I believe, for $120 now. And after neuro connection, we're going to, there is a neuro goal and neuro timeline, okay? Okay, did I count correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, correct. All the nine courses, okay? Basics is how you start, then you take the specialist if you want, okay? Some people don't go to specialist. Some people say, I'm not sure I want to teach others. Some people say, I just want to learn all of these algorithms for myself. And a lot of times those people learn this for themselves just to utilize in their own life. And they go for the instructor. They fall in love with neurographica this way. And then they go for the instructor's course. And a lot of people, and I'll tell you, from the instructor's course, we currently have, I think, maybe two to 3,000 instructors graduated in Russian, right, from Russia. This is the sixth year that's starting in Russia. And out of those 2,000 people, I would say 800 people, the most would actively practice neurographica. The rest of them either practice it purely within their own uh, professional field or for themselves. Now, what is this stage? Remember, this is the fully development stage, okay? This is the birth canal. This is the labor. This is where you learn hard. And guess how many months you're learning here? Nine months. The instructor course is nine months. It's done so for a reason. It's a nine month of development, okay? You go through the nine months. Usually it's one instructor course per month, but there's also a break in between. And also the instructor course, this is important to know, is combined with a coaching course, okay? When you graduate Neurographica's instructor course, you have a choice. You can get two diplomas, the instructor's diploma and the coaching diploma. Or you can get one diploma, just the instructor's. It's your choice, okay? I, I definitely advise for everybody to get the coaching, but I understand not everybody needs it, not everybody wants it, but you still get the knowledge and you still get a chance if later on, let's say in a year or two people do that. Many of my students, you know, I'm the supervisor at the instructor's course in, uh, in the Russian language. Many people do that. They come back a year later and say, you know, when I finished the instructor's course, I'm ready to do the coaching course. I did my teaching. Now I'm ready to work with people one-on-one. -on -one. And that's a big deal, right? So this is the active stage of development. This is the active stage of labor. Give yourself um, resources in here that you would need to pass through learning. How do you gain knowledge? You know, what do you need? I think the very first important thing that every human being needs now is time. We all need time, right? Even with pandemic, even when most of us or, or half of us are sitting home and it seems like we have nothing to do. We still have things to do. We have a family to take care of. We have a household to take care of, right? And we all need time. We need to find the time. Work yourself with the time, okay? What other resources would you bring in here? Would you bring in money? Money is an important resource. We talked about it at the source specialist. So many people go for the specialist for this specific reason. They start utilizing, they start financializing neurographic within their practice and they earn the money necessary to become, to come to the instructor's course, okay? 
So money is important, okay? And by the way, for those of you who don't know yet, I think I tell to all my students, any course you take with any of the instructors, you come to my specialist course. I'm starting, by the way, the basics course is starting in two weeks in April. I'm starting this. You come to any of the courses, you, the money you paid for the courses or any of the algorithms you want to take separately, whatever money you paid, you come to the instructor course. That's how the Institute works. They will say, whatever money you paid so far, show us a certification and you get that money refunded from your total instructor's fee. That's important to note. And also important to note, once you take any of the courses with me, you are in there for life. You have access to all previous recording and you have access to all future courses. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat all the algorithms within this half of the year, then the summer will come, we'll take a break for a month, then August and September comes, we're repeating all of the algorithms again. You can come and listen again like the specialist course. I have my students who come and listen again when I'm gonna do it this weekend. They already told me, I'm coming, I'm there. And I say, you should come because every time you learn on a new level, we already know this, right? Because every time we'll go through different stages in life. Now you may ask me, let's bring in a few more resources here. Any ideas what the resource would be here? I would welcome your input, ladies. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Oh, good night, Ishel. Yeah, I guess Frauke was the same thing she said from Germany. Good night to you. Um, what do you think, ladies, would be? Any ideas what the resource would be? What else would be here? What other resources can we bring in here? Knowledge, right? We know that there is knowledge, right? I take classes, like I said, I take a lot of courses, different things I learn, right? And I have sometimes students who say, I come to the class, I learn, but nothing enters my mind. Like I am completely blank. Like I don't understand what's happening. And that's important, right? Understanding. I'm sorry, I have no space for, for here. I'm gonna make space over here. Understanding, right? We all want understanding. By the way, talking about understanding, tomorrow is in my Neurospherot course. And the sphere we're gonna learn is called Dina, which is understanding, right? We have the knowledge. The knowledge will come, the wisdom comes, but without inner understanding, without understanding what I'm talking about, all of these things are just words or just letters until you actually internalize it within your mind. That's the beauty of it, right? Understanding is an important resource. Give yourself the resource of understanding, okay? Any other resource you think we should bring in in this, in this stage? What other resource would be here? We have time, we have money, we have knowledge and understanding. What else? What else would a person need when they learn something new? How about excitement? How about when you learn for nine months, four hours a week, and you have to draw four pictures at least? Creativity, thank you, Brenda. Creativity, excitement. I wanna tell you that, and everybody knows it. Pavel tells it in the, in the middle of the course, he's like, okay, let's talk about it openly. Who is burned out? We all know it. In the middle of the course, there's always such a thing called burned out. In the psychological term, we call it resistance in the coaching term, right? But in a human term, we call it burned out. At certain point, you're just not excited. It becomes a, you know, a routine, right? It's like, yeah, you come, you draw, you do the homework, you know. And so excitement is very important. That's why we have a break in the middle. That's why we have four algorithms in the course and we have a summer break. And then we have four more algorithms, right? That's why I am inviting you, by the way, another reason I explained to my students, why do I invite you to take all of these algorithms with me? You know, they tell me, you know, I can just wait for the instructor's course and I'll tell them my own story. When I came to the instructor course, I went straight for the instructor course. I didn't take, I drew beforehand a lot, but I didn't take the courses separately. I just went straight, you know, it was like calling. I had a calling. I saw the course. I was like, that's it. I'm going. Expertise. Thank you, Emma. Yes, expertise is very important. That's where this comes. When you become the specialist, you start becoming expertise. You start understanding the algorithms from inside out. So when I came to the course, you know, I'm learning the course. And those of you who took the basics course, you understand what I'm talking about. There's a lot of knowledge. There's a lot of philosophy and understanding. Plus the drawing, you have to be able to understand first, right? What I did with you, right? Give you all of the information first, and then we're drawing. And I see all my colleagues, they're like, going through the course, taking a test, you know, you have to pass the test after each course, and then you can start teaching. And they start teaching. And I'm like, how are they doing this? Attention, thank you. Attention is very important. Absolutely, absolutely. 
You bring it in, ladies, it's beautiful. Share your resources with others because maybe somebody else will look at it and say, oh, that's what I need, right? And they will put it down in their stage. So I see my colleagues teaching and I'm like, what's going on here? Why am I the only one confused? And then I start realizing that I'm the only one confused because I just started learning this. All of the colleagues who were teaching already while being at the instructor's course are the colleagues who took each of the alb they took each of the algorithms separately. So they already went through the now, you know, beginning and the processing. And when they come here, they're ready to start teaching. Okay. And that's actually just the fourth stage stage. The fourth stage is mental teaching. Okay. Those of you who will go for the instructor course, you will know what I'm talking about because after the instructor course, you're welcome to stay the second year. Why? Because you can become a supervisor, right? That's what I am, right? I have been graduated for three years already. And then this is my third year. I'm doing the supervision at the instructor course in Russian. And God willing, I'm going to do that in the English speaking course as well. So very exciting. And I want to tell you, those of you who are specialists, you know what I'm talking about. When you start teaching the algorithms to others, you get a different insight about what it's all about. You know, you will understand it differently. You will start even the philosophy. As I explained this to you, by the way, I learned something new for myself. And that's what happens when you're a supervisor, when you start mentoring others, when you start helping others become going through the basics and the specialists and the instructors, you're like, oh, so that's what Pavel meant when he said this and this and that. That's what Lana meant when she said, this is the gross and this is the nine month, you know? We understand it from some terms. We don't fully understand it until we teach it to others. And that's the supervisors. So that's why when you take all the courses separately first, and then you go to the instructors, you're kind of learning this twice. And once in the instructor's course, you pass the test and voila, you're ready to bring it out to the world. You don't need time to process. You don't need time to understand because you did it already. This is your second passing through the course. You just go and you start teaching. You start teaching. And then you become a mentor. You can become a supervisor if that's what you want. And you start developing further and further. And you start understanding. And then you start talking to people and you start bringing them and doing what I do, right? Doing open sessions and doing um, uh, closed courses. You start teaching to people and people find out. And then you build who you are. Remember we talked about the neurosynthesis being of all three, all four parts of you? Right? And you realize that this part and this part and this part is just a sequence to who you are now. Let's talk about the resources we need at this stage. We talk about wisdom, right? This is the stage of wisdom, right? I am a teacher, like I mentioned, and we know what do we need the most with our students, whether they're kids or adults. We need patience. Patience is so important, right? Patience on all levels. And I said before, this is the stage when we understand that all of this is both inner qualities and outer qualities. This is what we want from others, but what do we really want? This is what we want from ourselves. We're looking for wisdom. We're looking for, for patience. When we're looking for patience from others, we're looking for patience from ourselves. Patience from growing, right? We want to be like, I don't know how you are. I'm the kind of person, right? I want to be start here and go right away here. And we need, at this stage, we're like, no, 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 no. Without this stage and this stage, you cannot possibly get to wisdom and patience, right? What other resources would you say? Growing, is it still growing or it's more synthesis, right? Combination, understanding. And at this point, I wanna tell you now, right? This is the time where you're not just gonna teach the nine algorithms and the specialists, you know, the specialist requires a special permission to teach. You're gonna develop your own algorithms, right? I do that, right? I have my own courses and that's the beauty of it. Like I have a, I have a student, not a student, right? You know, she's a colleague now, but I used to be her supervisor two years ago, right? So last year she taught all of the algorithms. She's an instructor now. And this year she goes to me, no, I taught all of the algorithm, I'm good. 
I'm so excited to start developing my own courses. You know her. She developed the New York calligraphy, right? She told me about the idea. I said, go for it. It's an amazing idea. You must do this. And she did it. And it was so successful. And she was so happy she did it, right? And that's what it's about. It's your own creation. Remember we talked about creativity, expertise, attention. Everything you mentioned here is combined here. And you create your own algorithm. You can take all the other modalities and practices you learned, right? Like I am, I learned Kabbalistic studies. I learned Ho'oponopono. I learned, um, you know, some people do tapping. I do metaphoric association cards, right? I do all of that and I combine it with neurographic and it becomes absolutely fascinating. Okay, give me more ladies. What else would become at this age, stage? What other resources are we looking? I'm looking for two more. I see two more circles are coming to you. Okay. What else are we looking for? Any ideas? You can tell me, you can write to me. Please do. I would love to hear your input at this point. At this point, and this is where we're going, right? If this is the stage of childhood and we have the higher power, do you remember? Maturity, beautiful. Love it. Beautiful new order. Absolutely. Maturity. Right? This is what I was saying. And this is the part I missed here. Remember how we said in the first stage, the pre-modern, there is a connection to God, but it's more like, you know, childhood, right? There's a child and there's a parent. You have to listen to your parents, right? And over here, it's like teenager. I don't know if there is God, right? I love you, mom, but you're not an authority anymore. Over here, this is a working person. This is a person, he moves out of his house, right? He doesn't live with his parents. There's still connection to God, but there is an individual development. He comes to visit, right? On holidays, Thanksgiving and stuff, right? Passover for Jewish people, Thanksgiving for everybody else. Other people, other nations have their own, right? Easter is coming up, right? Christmas, right? They come to visit their families, but they're on their own. They live on their own. They get married. They start making their own family. And over here, what, is, what happens? One, they have their own family. Those of you who have children, right? I am not a grandmother yet, but I remember my mother telling me, now that you have children, you will understand everything I ever told you not to do or what to do, right? Once you have children, what do you get? What Neora said, maturity. Maturity. You start understanding and you come back to your mother and you say, mom, I understood why you didn't let me do this when I was this much old. Now I'm not upset about it anymore, Right? because you become mature. Confidence, thank you. Confidence is important. I'm gonna put confidence, okay? Confidence is something we work with. And that's the reason why I'm becoming the supervisor. My job as a supervisor at the course is not just to nitpick and say, oh, look at this line is wrong and this circle is wrong. That's not what I do, uh-uh. My confidence, my, my job is, as a, and that's why I think my, my specialty in, in, in my background in the special, um, um, uh, and the special education is, um, that's where it comes in handy, where I, you know, where I coach people, where I give them the, the means necessary to gain the knowledge, you know, to understand. And I tell them, and we teach you how to become a supervisor, right? We teach you how to say, look at this, this is a beautiful picture you have here. Notice on the focus on the positive. This is how I learned to work with children, to work in education. That's what I teach you. My specialist course is not just a specialist course. I coach you to work with people. I coach you to become more confident and say, you know, the neuro tree is beautiful. Focus on bringing neurographic, you know, and bring that out within yourself. We work with that, okay? So what are we doing now? Who knows? We bring on all the resources. All the resources are here for us. What are we doing? What is a major step in neurographica? combining all of it. And that's where it comes in, the unique. What is so unique about what Pavel created? He didn't come up with circles and triangles and squares. By the way, you can bring in some resources as squares. I would be careful with triangles until you took the neurocomposition course, integrating all of it, absolutely. You can put some of them, by the way, in squares. I just focused on circles. We know circles is, you know, the best one. The squares are, you know, the, what brings stability, okay? So what, what did Pavel do that's so significant? He created something, by the way, it is a pattern in line. I wanna tell you, 
This line is patented by Pavel. It's called Piskaryov's line. Neural line. Go with the neural line and you can go two ways. You can go from this side to this side. Connect all of your neural lines together. You can work on each stage separately and just connect each stage, okay? Like this, okay? Okay, you can connect the neural lines within each stage separately, like I said, right? I'm gonna do it quickly just for the sake of allowing you to go through this algorithm. Do me a favor, work on this diligently. Round everything off so all your resources come in harmoniously, balanced in a way where you're going to be happy with yourself, okay? And of course, okay. There you go, okay? I'm going to do some rounding. And we teach you at the basic score. This is what we learned. Those of you who took the basic scores with me, they know. We learned the way to do integration, the way to go through the awareness. Neurographic is more than just drawing. It's more than just a coaching practice. It's an integrative practice. We learn uh, awareness, right? We learn how to pay attention to our body. We learn how to become conscious in all four levels. Remember the four levels we mentioned? Whenever we do round it, we become conscious of everything, right? We pay attention to our body. Breathing in and breathing out, what is my body? The body that comes up to me is my throat. That makes sense, okay? But we're not analyzing. We're just acknowledging it, becoming aware of it, and then going further. This is like meditation, but during drawing. Breathing in and breathing out. What is the emotion that comes to your mind? The emotion that comes to my mind is trepidatious. That's the word that comes to me, being trepidatious, right? Being, um, it's like being excited and being... Um, like scared maybe at the same time, right? This is interesting. And look where I am. I'm in the first stage, right? This is the stage where human beings anthropologically were trepidatious. They were afraid of God. They were trying to rebel against God, but they were afraid, right? It's like a, a child, right? She will tell you that she doesn't want something or she will start crying there, right? She will start her tantrum, but she knows. Mother says, mother will do it. There is authority. And that's what it is, right? And you notice that at each stage, the awareness practice, right? The third stage would be breathing in and breathing out. And what are your thoughts? And I already gave you my thoughts, right? But the point is through the basics course, right? This is what we teach you. I take you, I make you practice. I let you practice this so much that this becomes a second nature to you. So that when you do go into the specialist course, which is when you learn how to teach others, but you're just introducing others to neurographic. Remember, you're not teaching others the basics yet. You're introducing and you can use, by the way, when you become a specialist, you have the right to use the basics algorithm within your practice, okay? It's within your practice, okay? And like I mentioned, the specialist course is the most expensive one. Why? Because it's a professional course. And it's, by the way, you know, if different practice, if you notice different instructors will have different prices for all of the algorithms, you know, for the special scores, there is not much, no, not much um, variety. Why? Because this is the course that's mandated by the Institute. The Institute completely controls it because it's a professional course. After this course, you go out there and you are the face of Neurographica. I teach you, I give you the tools. Um, I basically, it, within my course, by the way, I completely give you all the tools, including the PowerPoint presentations. I equip you fully, okay? Those are my presentations. I made it. They're not taught at the course, you know? They're not something I received from the instructor course, but I make them and I give them to you because when I let go of the specialists, they are the specialists. They are going to be professionals, and that's important to know, okay? And... Um, and the professional, the specialist course, if any of you are interested, let me know. Like I said, you're welcome to contact me. I will make time to talk to you because this is an important step. You have to be sure this is what you want. This is what you're going to pursue. You know, uh, if you just want to learn for yourself, you, yeah, of course you can take, I have a few students who took it for themselves, but most of them are interested in it professional. You can learn this for yourself too, all of these algorithms. Um, but the course is for itself is for professional. Also for yourself, if you want to draw, you can just take like I give the neurotree course separately, right? And you can take that, right? And that's the important part. So go through all of the stages and 
circle everything out. I mean, round everything out because I want to take you to the next stage. What is the next stage we have in Eurographica? What goes after rounding? We actually did the figure and background. We added the Euro lines that connect it all. And the next stage is adding color, okay? You can pay attention to the colors you add. If you want to learn more about colors, I invite you to join the Neuro Color course. We just finished it live, but you're welcome to take it by recordings. It's definitely more affordable that way. And you still have the necessary uh, support from us, from both me and Margarita, my partner in teaching. And we will give you support. We will offer it to you as a way to understand, you know, what you want to do. You can we can ask, answer all questions. Basically, you still get the all the necessary learnings. I know different people learn differently. Some people only like to learn live. I personally, my whole instructor's course, I actually learned by recording. I find it to be more convenient, but of course. Uh, there are sometimes uh, some teachings I have in that I do live too. Okay, and um, and we can do both. And of course, next time we do the live, you are welcome to join that live session, and you have nothing to lose. Um, so that's the important part. What else did I finish? Always go through. If you have a friend, like one of you mentioned, you have a friend, a cousin, I think, brought you. This is what happens, right? You can take your picture and show it to your friend and say, did I round everything out? Because especially at the beginning stage, sometimes you may miss overlook. I remember the first year when I started, Pavel would say, I take them my pictures and I show it to my colleagues and I say, did I round everything? And I was like, okay, if Pavel does it, then, you know, it's okay. And that was back then when Neurographic was just starting, okay? And I'm at the fourth stage, right? And I want to round out all the resources quickly as I want to bring in the color and show you how the monochrome picture, when you just focus on your awareness, on your body, as we mentioned, right? You learn the awareness practice. And if you already took the basic, then you, you, you must know it. Some, some teachers call it differently, but you still, you understand what it is. When you go through all of those practices of paying attention to your body, your thoughts and your emotions, once you go through that, you know, once you start adding color, this is the part that comes that's called excitement. And by the way, before I start my basics course, I usually, I, uh, yeah, I'm going to do the Monday, the first Monday in April, the fifth, I believe. I'm going to do an open session where I will draw the pyramid of consciousness, which is what Neurographica is based upon also, okay? There are all, a lot of different theories that you can see with the Neurographica method. Um, let's do colors. I'm taking my pencils. You can take markers, you can take highlighters. You can take some people use watercolor, that's fine. Start thinking, what do you wanna add? Two ways to add color. One way is based on your intuition. Just to me, the green came, I liked it. I'm taking it, I'm going with it. And you can think, what do you wanna color? You can color each stage, different color. You go creative. This is the stage. I don't tell you any rules. There are no rules. If before I told you the rule was to round everything, or that the circles go here, try not to do triangles. I give you some, you know, limitations. At this point, we're here, or maybe we're here. No, I say we're here. You have a creativity. You color it any way you want to, okay? There are certain rules, of course, also, that you learn at the basics course, but at this point, you know, we're not at the official course. You do whatever you want to. You can create your own your art, right? I decided I'm gonna make this green. I wanna make this green. It's intuitive. Now, once you take the neuro color course, I promise you every color you take, you're gonna look at it from a different point of view. You're gonna fully understand why you made this green. You want me to give you a little insight? Why is this green? Green is a beginning. According to the five elements, green is the color of the element of wood. And that's the beginning of it all. So whether I want it or not, it may be intuitive, it may be not, but I actually took green and I started coloring the first stage, okay? And that's just for you to understand. I would probably make like all my stages different colors, but you, like I said, you use your creative self. You can connect colors. You can, you know, put some colors here and here and there and there and bring them out. And that's what we learn. We learn in your color how to connect colors to create new energy, to bring in energy to your personal self. And by the way, those of you who don't want to take the neurocolor as an algorithm, we do offer all the algorithms 
as separate sessions. Let's say the Neuro Mandala is a very popular course because it has so many different interesting ideas. Yeah, color therapist course now. Yeah, absolutely, Neuro. Yeah, we learn in Neuro Graphico, the color therapy we'll learn is based on five elements. Yeah, but I do know, yeah, there is a lot of color, color uh, therapist courses, right? They explain color from different um, integrative practices as energy. And that's what it is, right? And look at this absolutely intuitively because I'm paying attention to what I'm saying. I took orange for the next stage. The next stage is fire, right? The next stage is fire. The next stage is energy, right? And even though we know this is the stage of nine months of development, we know, everybody knows, if you're a mother yet, or if you're not a mother yet, but this is the first thing you learn when you're pregnant, you have to pay attention to everything that's happening within you, both within and without, right? Both outside and inside of you. And this is the stage of development. This is where the fetus is developing the most. In my session, if you look at it, or the gross matrices, I discuss this in details. How everything that the mother undergoes is really forming the psychology, the mental framework of the, of the fetus, you know, the emotional world of the fetus, as well as, of course, physical, right? So that's what we know. We know that when a woman is pregnant, we have to be very careful with her. Be very, um, very, um, what do you call that? Very delicate with her, right? We have to pay attention to her. Right. This is, they say, you know, you never, there are no courses on how to become a parent, right? They say that's one thing you don't need a license for, but that's what it is, right? So I'm making this orange, okay? The next stage, there are five elements, but we have four stages, so you can figure out how it goes, right? Um, so I would say yellow or brown, right? Yellow going to brown, right? This is the next stage. So that's according to the five elements. By the way, the neuro composition course is about learning what each shape is about and learning how to bring in energy through the shapes. That's the important part. That's why each course, each algorithm is so important. It builds a different structure of what you know about neurographic, okay? So um, yellow, and I said it can be brown, right? Because although it's a energy of the sun, it's element of the earth. So you can utilize both colors, the brown and the uh, what is my brown? What is brown? And the yellow, okay? And brown will actually bring you to the next element, which is the element of metal. The element of metal is a structure. And look what I'm putting it. I'm putting it toward the stage where we passing from three to four, right? The structure is very important, right? When the baby undergoes through the birth canal, the structure is important. They have to undergo through the whole birth canal, right? And that's a human development. This is how the female body is set. There is no uh, flexibility there, although we know that there is, right? That the body expands and the muscles expand and the baby comes out, right? But in order to get there and look, when we get to the fourth stage and there is structure, right? The baby is very delicate. But there is some structure in there. We know there are certain things we shouldn't be doing with a baby. And that's important to learn, right? The structure, the organization is very important. And that's the element of the metal, okay? In the course, actually, we finished it, I believe, yesterday. We took the last session with it, which was a, the fun session, was um, taking the taking the, um, the elements and utilizing it within your personal life. Like, what are the traits you're looking for? And as we go into the wisdom, which is the fifth element, it's the element of water. We all know what color that is, right? And that's what it is. After structure and organization, you get to, to this next stage, which is the wisdom, which is ocean, right? What is water? Water has no boundaries as we know it. Water is, you know, an element and water is infinite, right? And also water tries to take things over, which is what we talked about, the supervisor, right? My job is not to take you over. My job is not tell you what to do. My job is to coach you. My job is to help you. And I take that job very seriously. I take it at any single stage, by the way. That's my job as a teacher, right? When I teach you the basics, my job is not to break you. No, 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 God forbid. My job is to form you, to help you. The basics course, you know, those of you who go further, they say, okay, so now we know the basics course was the easiest one. And I say, yep, now you know, right? The basics course is where you start your journey. It's your childhood, right? 
How do we learn ABCs in the childhood? Do we, you know, do we learn them how to read? No, in ABCs in the childhood, we'll learn how to sing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? We just sing the alphabet. We don't make children read, right? Despite what the, you know, many states adapt nowadays, right? Where they teach children to read at four years old. But even that, I worked with those programs. They don't teach you what to read. They learn, teach you how to recognize letters within the book, you know? And that's important to note, right? That's the journey within the basics. We teach you how to sing the alphabet. Then the specialist, and only then at the neurocomposition, we teach you how to read, how to write, and how to take the grammar course, right? I always say that. Neurocomposition is learning the grammar of the neurographical language. That's important to know, okay? So I, at this point, colored just the elements separately, but I realized, like we said before, each element separately, remember which stage that was? That was stage number two, remember? When the human being felt that there were outside elements, outside elements that are pulling him in different directions or inside elements pulling in different directions. Well, we are a combination of all. So I'm definitely going to add a color and we'll combine all of this, you know, combine my elements and make it cohesive, okay? What am I using for that? I'm gonna use something I called oil pastels, okay? I am being mindful of your time. So for those of you, I know I said it's an hour and a half. Those of you who took a course or a class with me before, they know I tend to go a bit over. Um, but those of you who need to go, it's 1.30, but you don't have to, you're welcome to stay with me. I'm gonna do another five, 10 minutes just to show you how I combine, right? I utilize the new, um, the oil pastels. Um, again, go with the color of your choice, okay? With me, the purple is calling my name. I'm looking at this purple and it's telling me, take me, take me. So I'm gonna take it and I'm trying to think, where do I want to utilize the, the purple? I think I wanna utilize it within this section, okay? Also notice the first section, right? Right, we also divide it in half, right? This is a section also, the beginning, right? The, the development, and this is going outside and showing to the world what you do, okay? I think I'm gonna add some purple. I feel like adding purple here, yeah, right? Okay, this is oil pastels, so I can just utilize them with my fingers. That's why I like oil pastels, because they really bring in that whole sensory experience to you, right? which we know, and by the way, we learned that, that neurographic is based upon the five senses, right? Where we utilize all the senses. And I teach you even how to utilize your fifth sense, the sense of smell, right? What do I wanna bring in here? Maybe more blue, right? More blue in this case, right? Look at this. Look at this. Okay, voila, I'm gonna make this blue. And for some reason, I wanted to do the second half first. I wonder why, because maybe I'm here, right? So I'm kind of finishing this part first and then I'm starting over. So that's important also to realize, where are you in this stage, by the way? Pay attention to that, right? And that can be for any learning. By the way, just so you know, what I've showed you within Neurographica, you take it to your professional course, you take it to your practice, you take it to your personal life, where are you, you know? And you can figure out where do you need to go? Like I felt I needed to go this way, finish this first and then start a new, right? Because I am starting a new, the new instructor's course, the new beginning, right? So for me, that's what it is, okay? I'm gonna add some green here, okay? Um, some green here, okay? And some red here, but I need some more colors. Yeah, I need to add some yellow and that's what I'm gonna do now. This I don't want to be fully red. So pay attention to your body. Your body will, and that's what you learn with Neurographic. And once you start doing the awareness practice, you become much more keen, keen awareness of what your body is telling you, where to go, where not to go. And that's not just body, just so you know, that's your intuition. Your intuition becomes very keen, very heightened, okay? And I need to bring in some gold marker. Gold is my color, I like gold, okay? I'm gonna bring gold over here in the middle, okay? This is interesting to note, okay? 
gold. Okay, and I want to bring some aspects of gold into my elements. Okay? Some elements, I want to bring the gold out and pay attention to that. Combine some colors, create new colors, right? Like again, if you want to learn more about what color energy is like within neurographica themselves, itself, right? How Pavel explains it. Welcome to take the neuro color course. Welcome to, of course, join me for the neurosynthesis where we actually learn how to do all of this within different aspects. What am I doing next? I need to add one more, one more step. And that's, even though it's the last step, it's really important. It's called the field line. The field lines is the most mystical part of neurographica. But do you know when you get the field lines? Who wanna get, do you wanna guess when you get the field lines when you're here? When you start teaching to others, that's when you fully understand what field lines are all about, okay? Field lines are really taking all of those different neural lines that you drew, right? And pay attention. I just realized that my neural lines are kind of disconnected. And look what I'm going to do. I see the disconnection between this stage and the first stage. And I'm like, oh, that's why I need to connect it. And that's what I'm doing, right? I'm connecting the neural lines. And that's the beauty of neurographic. You can, in any stage, right? Pavel actually talks about it. He says, you can take your old pictures. And if you know the topic, which is most why most people write the topics either in the back or next to it, okay, if it's in the book, and if it's in your drawing pad. And he says, if you notice that the topic didn't realize the way you want it to be, or it didn't come, you know, it didn't come yet. He says, you take the picture and you add the necessary element. Neurographic is a picture that at any moment it looks finished. And then at any moment you can add to it. That's the beauty of it, right? It's so abstract, it's abstract art. So whether I finish it or not, it's gonna be, you know, finished. But then I can take it at any moment and add necessary elements to bring in the necessary energy to my topic, right? And of course, today we chose one topic. That was a general topic. But in every picture, and that's another beauty about every single course, you have a lot of coaching. What you do is draw and draw and draw. And of course, you utilize your own topic. You don't work on my topic. You work on your topic. And as a result of this, taking all the courses, you change your life. You change who you are. You change what you achieve in life. And that's a beauty. So do you see different neural lines that go in different directions? Some of them go diagonal. Some of them go horizontal. Um, sometimes in other pictures I have, some of them go vertical. When you put in the, you, the field lines, it's like connecting. It's like giving a major pathway to all of your neural lines, you know, connecting all that energy of the neural lines, utilizing it, like putting it in a bundle, you know, like, a, you know, like a fiber optics, you know how the cable works, right? They put all those little tiny cables, they unite it together and that's why it's called fiber optics, right? And then the energy, the internet works better, right? That's what they say, in Verizon, right? That's why they work better, right? A little marketing here, right? You learn, by the way, with this, you learn marketing, you learn everything, all aspects of life, okay? So decide how you want your field lines to go. They have to go within one direction. Don't choose different directions because that's not how life works. Focus. You have a goal, you focus on your goal. You go toward that direction. You work in that direction. Everything else around your life will harmonize itself, okay? So at this point, I feel, listen to your body. My body is telling me to make a diagonal line. And I know why, because my body is telling me I really am focusing on this. First stage, yeah. I think I'm going through the first stage now with the beginning of the instructor's course. And we are still in like, you know, prenatal, right? We have some information, we don't have all information. But at the same time, I'm going through this because I'm teaching all of the instructor courses to you. So that's interesting. I'm trying to figure out where do I stand and how do I combine both of those roles Right, I'm taking a course now that I will be teaching within a few months called the Multi-Rolled Human Being, right? Also Pavel's course. And he talks about it. It actually came from this course, okay? This algorithm. The course initiated as a neurosynthesis algorithm. And then Pavel created a whole separate course from it, okay? And that's what it is. Okay, when you do the field lines, you quickly go and you do a bit of rounding as well, okay? Everything you do, do the rounding. That's the first thing you learn. Why? Because harmony is very important within your life, okay? 
Okay, so it's about two to three new field lines. Where do I go? I go like this, right? Okay, and I utilize the third stage as well, right? Again, and what is my gonna be the third line? Two to three maximum, I would say, if you have a huge piece of paper, like A3 or more, you can do four field lines. Don't do too much, because like I said, field lines are about focusing, taking all of the neural lines that you have and like kind of combining the energy within one direction, okay? If in the beginning, in this stage, you didn't know what you wanted, right? You would add all of the resources you need. We're here, we're in this stage, we're finishing the picture. You already know which stage you wanna to go to. And if you don't, you don't have to know this mentally. Logically, remember, we're not in the second quadrant. We're not in the you know um, modern world. Logic is not everything, we know that. We're in meta-modern world. We know that we have an intuition and it guides you, it's our soul. It shows us, it helps us to go where we need to be, what our mission in life is, okay? We have guidance, we have faith. Faith is so important, right? You will learn this as you draw neurographic that faith is everything. Faith is yourself, faith in human beings, faith in others, in your friends, in society. You start learning that, right? You start bringing in and learning and harmonizing it on your own personal level, okay? Okay, there you go. And the neurosynthesis course is on special. We usually sell it for $200. We're having a spring special now. Like I mentioned, I will be setting, um, posting all the specials on the courses that we already taught to people. We're making them available because I understand people may wanna learn this before the instructor's course. So when they come to the instructor course, easy peasy, they went in, they took the course, they passed the test, they start teaching others. That's where it goes, right? To go through the passage, right? Um, those of you who had babies, you know, labor. The, the least uh, um, painful it is, the better it is, right? Um, I have five kids, thank God. So my, my baby, my, 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 the last baby I had was a piece of cake because I knew it already and I was more conscious. I was exactly this. I was totally neurosynthesis, right? I had all of me ready. My mind knew what it was doing. My, my soul knew what it was doing. I welcomed the baby. And she's really the most harmonized of all my babies. She's very balanced, you know. She knows what she wants. She knows what she gets. She's a lion, you know. And that's what it is. You want to go through the labor stage? Go in, go out. The least pain there is. No epidural necessary, you know. That's what it is. So um, the neurosynthesis course is on sale, uh, $150. Mm -hmm. Um, you're welcome to sign up. We have, I think, we made a 24 hour special. We have a few more hours. We start the course on Thursday. Do join us if you have any circumstances. You write to us. We understand. We're all humans. You want to take the specialist with me? Let me know. Call me. I will talk to you. Um, if you are my student, we can figure out the deal with you. You know, um, we work with you basically. My job is to teach you. Okay. Thank you, Emma. I'm glad, I'm so glad it was very valuable to you. That was my, my goal. And like I mentioned, all the courses, I believe we're gonna make them certified. If you wanna get certified either, I don't remember, either 100 or $120. All the courses that we already taught, you can get them in recordings. You can join them later on live, come join me. I wanna say goodbye to you. I'm gonna turn myself into a camera. I wanna say thank you to all of you for coming to this course. I wanna say thank you for joining me. I wanna say thank you for allowing me to be a part of the, your life and bringing Neurographica to you. And thank you for bringing your energy. This was an amazing, amazing course. I truly, I mean, session, I truly enjoyed it. If you have anything to say, you're welcome. Any questions, welcome to ask me now, to PM me, anything. Yeah. I'll post. I just wanted to share my picture. Yes, please do. Anybody, welcome to share your pictures. <laughs> pin them in the gallery. Oh my God, this is amazing. Wait, I want to pin you. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wait, 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 wait. So beautiful. I love it. What is the medium you use for coloring? Um, I use watercolor and then I had a, an acrylic, um, acrylic red marker and some um, gold paint and also some oil pastel. So beautiful. Love it. Thank so you. Good.
please post in the world of neurographic and we invite you. This is amazing. We'll do. Thank you. Ladies, have a great day. Thank you, Lana. Day or your night or your morning, that is. Yep. <laughs> right? We're different time zones here. Anybody else wants to share their picture, please feel free to. You know, we can talk about it. What did you think I'm about it? I'm still rounding. <laughs> I'm still rounding. Yeah, I know. But I know you, Niora. I'm looking forward to seeing your picture. I know your, your artist background. You color beautifully usually. So yeah, definitely. Thank you very much for this course. It was um, really enlightening. Thank you so much. I'm glad I made it. Mornings are very difficult for me to hook up. Very. Um, I know. I know. You told me. So I really, really, really am glad I did. I want to tell you, I made it in mind with you because I remember you told me I can't do the mornings. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing 12 p.m. because I want Niora to make it. I know. Yeah, 10, 10 o'clock for me is a little. 10 o'clock for me is a little better than than 7:45 or 8. So thank you. <laughs> I hear you. Um, I hear you. Anybody else wants to share their pictures or just say hello and goodbye? You're welcome to. Otherwise, thank you. I enjoyed having you here. And yeah, Lana, was very good. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Brenda. Glad to hear. Bye. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the rest Bye. of your day or your Bye. night, everybody. Bye-bye.